That's why I take this herb. That was a waste of three to four minutes. Bloody flamethrower. Now, what can we get rid of? Get rid of the herb, obviously. Let's get first aid spray instead. Nope. Instead of that, I meant. Because we shouldn't be poisoned in this place now. In theory. I'm going to go back here now. Okay, I think he's the type that can poison you. Might have just been like the, sh the light though. The flickering light thing. <clears throat> Reflecting off him. Those hunters, I think they're meant to be frogs. Used to be frogs. I don't know. I, I don't pay attention to much of it. <laughs> yep, wrong lid. Take out the item. Shaft. <laughs> Combine the cylinder and the shaft. Examine. Turn it, yes. Yes. Right, we need to match the bottom with the top for Roman numerals. You don't really have to, but I don't think you might have to. <laughs> but it gives you a code. 4231. So now put it back in. Four two three one or oh, four three two one. Oh no, I'm doing it again. Four two. I think it was three one. Yep, power has been restored. So now we can use the elevator to go even further down into the caves. I don't know why I thought we needed the flamethrower. It just seemed. I don't know. It just seemed like it would. This part has an extra cutscene in Jill's scenario. Which makes it a little bit better, but, you know, I'm <laughs> I don't mind. Now, this floor isn't big, but... Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Do we need anything? I don't think we do. I don't think we have any key items that... No. There's no safe point here, just the inventory chest. We're going to go the only way we can go, which is right by here. Not been very talkative lately. <laughs> oh well. Oop. Here comes our favourite character, or at least mine, Lisa Trevor. Let's get these. Get a heal night them, is it? In case she hits us while we're wandering around. Again, she's invincible, you can't kill her, so just avoid her. There are a couple of ways to get to the different doors, so there's no reason why you should ever go the way that she is, unless you accidentally bump into her because of the camera angles or something, you know. We need to go this way. For now. For two seconds. <laughs> Let's do what we actually need to do first, which is push this crate a little bit this way. And now all the way forward. So that it's on that sort of lift thing. It's like a pulley uh, tram system. No, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but. Or well, they're using mining, obviously. Now it's on. Push the button. And off it goes. Where it goes, nobody knows. <laughs> Up here, 
some good items you don't really want to miss. Flash grenade. Although they're quite easily missable, I think. Definitely magnum rounds. Now we have 12. What else? Hanging ammo. No, we'll leave that there. Okay, see some, some really good stuff that's quite easy to miss. Now we need to head back to where the inventory box was, the second one, the one on this floor. Which I'll actually take us back to, see you in a sec. Okay, and we're back. What we need, <laughs> what we need to do, let's have a look, anything to get rid of, magnum rounds, of course it was. Could have brought some hanging ammo in. We could have, yeah. Um, yeah. What we want to do is go down this ladder now. It takes a while. <laughs> Here we go. Not too long. Push the crate off. This is the one that we sent off on the... Um, this thing, this mining thing. Can it be an elevator? Can elevators go sideways? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, now push it up towards you, where you see the flashing red light. And push the button. Flash compactor, sort of. <laughs> now we need to get that. Broken flamethrower, yeah. <coughs> okay. Damn it. it feels like there could be a way to keep that flamethrower now, instead of this broken one. But I'm not sure. I, I could be making that up. Who knows? Anyway, back this way. <coughs> mm. And we're back in Lisa Trevor's room, I think. Yeah. Oh, there she is. <laughs> she always seems to go the way that I go. <clears throat> Want to pull the switch? Which brings the hinges out to put the broken flamethrower on. Check the map. We can go either way, really. Try this way. Check again. Same terrible with directions. Not that way. Which way then? Down here. Must be. And down here. You are timed. I'm pretty sure. And there we go. Oh. <clears throat> so warm. <sighs> That's the caves done. Or the mining area. You know, call it what you want. Do do snakes. I'll go for the snakes. <laughs> God, that had a big gob. Sort of reminds me of my mother. Um, <laughs> jewelry box. Examine it. I think it's the third jewelry box in the game. The last one as well. This is what we did all the caves for. Stone ring. Yeah, I told you all the Jessica and Lisa story. Herb? Yeah, let's take the herb, is it? We just gotta have one inventory slot free. 
make sure of that. I'll show you why. Of course I'll show you why. And now we're back in the Trevor family cabin. What do we need? We need... That. I'm going to get rid of the first aid spray. We need the two medals. Actually, no, we don't yet. I'll take the first aid spray. Oh. Like I said, we still need the one inventory space free. Right. I'm going to cut the video here. This has been Green XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit.